Hello, my name is SojigDeath00, and today I'm making a video about Elden Ring, and why it's such a great game. Now, I've heard so many complaints on Twitter about Elden Ring being difficult, and <laughs> uh, the open world makes no sense, or they can't find anything, and that they don't have the patience for it, and why it doesn't have an easy mode. And uh, my thing is, my guy, this is a From Software game. You know, the same developers behind Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro. When has there ever been an easy mode? <clears throat> let me let me let me clear my throat because I really need to I need to get this out because it's like there's never been an easy mode at all. And all the games that they've created there's never been an easy mode so why would there be one now they created it purposely to be challenging to be difficult to be hard harder than any other game created okay it is meant to challenge you to to, to beat you to death so that way you can learn on how to defeat the enemy okay it's meant to do that because through defeat you eventually learn like oh okay I'm not supposed to do this I'm supposed to do that or maybe I should roll in this direction or in that direction or maybe now that is very new in this game I should jump over the attack <clears throat> okay it is meant for you to learn from your mistakes and overcome the enemy okay that has, that has been all their games. That has been in all their games. And now you want to come on Twitter and whatever social media, which I'm pretty sure even here in YouTube, um, they're probably uh, complaining as well, making videos, complaining about the game. And it's just like, hello, it's meant to be difficult. It's meant to give you a challenge like no other. Because there, there are no other games in existence currently that has this level of difficulty okay and they've never once created a setting where you can change the difficulty and especially easy mode are you kidding me and if you don't have the patience for it then why did you get the game seriously speaking why did you get the game if you've never liked Dark Souls and Demon Souls and all those other games, you're not going to like this one. Another comment that I found was really stupid uh, was that uh, a YouTuber by the name of Iron Pineapple, he posted up a comment on Twitter from a guy that commented on one of his videos, uh, basically talking about how, uh, how many people have bought into the game because of a video like this, basically blaming his video for the reason why he doesn't like the game and why he thinks that it's overhyped and it's just like that is just so stupid because first of all if you know who Iron Pineapple is he's created his community around Dark Souls and Soulsborne games and, uh, and a variety of other games but mainly <clears throat> known for the Souls games whatever video that he creates regarding to Elden Ring or any Soulsborne game. First off, he has the right to create that video because that's his video. He's a content creator. That's his thing. Okay. Secondly, his community is going to respond to it favorably because they like the same game. And they're hyped about it as well. It's a no brainer. It doesn't require that much thinking into, oh, I can understand why this video was created. Third, if you see people are hyped about something, that doesn't mean that you have to get it. You have heard of, uh, you know, personal decisions, right? Just because you see hype around something doesn't mean that you have to get it. Especially if you've never played a game like this before in your entire life. You've never played any of the Souls games and you just don't like it because of the difficulty you should not have gotten this game period because it is going to be the same thing 
is going to be difficult. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be hard. It's going to have a lot of enemies that deal a lot of damage, that are quick, that are powerful, and that are unpredictable. At least until you really stop and learn and you know you read their attacks and and then you get the you get the gist of what they're doing. <clears throat> okay. It is just meant to be this way. That is how the game is created. Okay. So again, if you are not about these type of games, you shouldn't have gotten you should not have point it is plain it's, it's plain as day okay you should not have gotten it if you're not about these games if you don't like the difficulty if you don't have the patience and time you should not have gotten the game that's it really it, it it's not that difficult to to come up with uh with a decision or a thought like that in your brain okay for people who do have the time and patience they're gonna play this game they're gonna enjoy this game they're gonna think. They're gonna breathe it in and think like it's a uh, fresh of breath air, and they're gonna enjoy it. Okay. Another thing is the complaint about around the open world. First off, when it came again to all these other games that were created by From Software, it's never had open world like this. Okay, it's never had open world. Period. I think it's always been a very linear, very straightforward point a to point b and fast travel to this and that okay and <clears throat> all the enemies that you came across you can either run around them or run through or not around but run through them or fight them and get to the boss in this case you can literally sneak around you can run around you can ride around on a horse and go around them you can jump to areas to get away from those type of enemies and get to where you're going it's such a revolutionary type of design for Elden Ring that it completely changes the way how you play the game or what so many have uh, played uh, uh, Dark Souls games and Demon Souls and, you know the Soulsborne genre in general it changes the way how you look at the game and how you play it okay so the open world thing is completely new and it is great okay it, it really is it really really is you can go ahead and make a point and say like oh it's not that great whatever go ahead and make the make the point right but to other people who play these games they like it a lot and listen I understand the game it's very difficult but again that is the point it is meant for you to learn adapt and overcome <laughs> it's literally literally it is meant for you to look closely at what you're doing are you making wise choices on how you move and how you fight are you using up the resources pretty quickly and uh, irresponsibly you, you gotta learn how to deal with things in a way that you can have the advantage over your enemy okay it'll take time it'll take time and patience you just gotta learn and it's not that difficult like truly when you start to learn and you see how the enemy moves and reacts and what you can use to your advantage it becomes a heck of a lot easier I, i'm telling you it becomes a lot easier than you think okay you just got to be smart on how you play now when it comes to PC I don't know what's really going on with PC I gotta look into that more I'm currently playing this on PlayStation 4 Pro and that's because I would get a PS5 if I could find one <laughs> or if I could get one uh, but I'm stuck on PlayStation 4 Pro unfortunately uh, PC I'm gonna wait for a while before I get that and one day soon I'll, I'll i'll get it but for pc i i know that there's been performance issues because uh, apparently on twitter i saw from vgc news 
that more than 40% of Steam reviews for Elden Ring are negative following widespread reports of performance issues on PC. Which is crazy and sad, but in all honesty, the negative reviews, really? You don't think From Software is not going to fix that? They're obviously going to fix it. Okay. It's probably something completely a minor issue that they probably didn't know about until now and they're gonna fix it eventually I mean th there's there's a group of people that do more than a, a good job on their games they do a great job they do an exemplary job okay <laughs> when it comes to your games okay and for Elden Ring to look this good on PlayStation 4 even though I know on next gen it must look amazing Okay, but for PlayStation 4, I didn't think it wasn't going to go so well. But so far, it's been great. It really has been great. Um, but yeah, it's, I just wanted to make this video real quick to talk about it. Because honestly, it's just so stupid. <clears throat> it really is stupid. On how many people are complaining about how difficult it, it is when it's always been like that these type of games that are created from from software is going to be difficult it always has been and always will the next game that they come out with whatever it may be is going to be difficult if you don't like that level of challenge and difficulty if you don't like that level of 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 just overwhelming uh <laughs> overwhelming power and strength from bosses and enemies you're, then you're not just you're not gonna like it you're not gonna like it but for others that do like it they're gonna find that next game very enjoyable they're gonna find this game Elden Ring very enjoyable and they're already enjoying it. I already see on Twitter and YouTube how much they love this game because this is their type of game fulfills everything that they were hoping for to see in Elden Ring. Okay, and, and then another thing is uh, I heard about graphics. Are you kidding me? The graphics compared to the previous games is ast astronomically better. <laughs> it is so much better. It, it is it is great. It is wild on how detailed the graphics are. Even for PlayStation 4, again, I'm able to see that detail. And then if one day I get a PS5 and I see, I'm going to see even more than ever before. Um, but in all honesty, again, this game is not for everyone. And if you do find difficulty, my honest advice is, again, don't get the game if you don't like it. But if you really do want to play it, I suggest you play it. I, I recommend that you do. Try it. Give it a real good try you know just try it when you learn how to move about how to play the game it becomes a lot more fun and it gets easier because you now you know what to do okay in all honesty this game is awesome it really is it's a lot of fun the exploration is amazing the bosses are just insanely difficulty uh, difficult <laughs> and challenging and just hard but it's so satisfying when you defeat them it is truly a satisfying feeling and experience the level of anger uh, willpower and determination that I have that gets washed away with the, with the feeling of victory it is great it, it really is just great um, and that's that's all I just wanted to say, really. I mean, it's just I find it so odd. Or not odd, but just again, just stupid. All the complaints and and the, and the mention of an easy mode. Are you kidding me? Come on, get good. Seriously, get good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Um, tell me what you think in the comment section. I know I kind of stuttered with my words a bit. Um, <laughs> and uh, I did clear my throat a couple times because 
I have something going on. Um, but yeah, but tell me what you think. Did I say anything that was, uh, you know, anything that was like incorrect or whatever? I feel like the things that I said is valid. But but tell me your thoughts. Um, and again, thank you so much for uh, watching. Please leave a like, a subscribe if you want to watch some more. Um, and uh, have a great day. Peace out.